Greetings. This is Arvette McLean with Speak. The Universe Listens. New ways to view age-old challenges. Change your thoughts. Change your life. Step into the bigness of you. Greetings and welcome to today's episode of Speak the Universe Listens. Today's topic is Just Thrive. And I have Stephen joining me, hey. Rodney, hey. and Teron. Hey. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Good. Splendid. <laughs> Splendid. I like that. <laughs> Good. Okay, so on the topic of, of just thriving or just thrive, um, I guess. The opposite of that would be what a lot of us would tend to do is to just survive. Like just being, having our head above water, mm-hmm. <laughs> survival mode. So uh, I'm going to throw the topic to you first, Teron. Okay, yeah. Um, so when we first introduced the topic of um, Just Thrive, it's interesting because I thought back to how I used to live and it was like just surviving. But when I say that, I mean like I would... I wouldn't create the things I needed until I, like I absolutely needed it, and it would be frustrating because it's like I don't have to get all the way down here to create it. Mm-hmm. But um, for some reason, that was something that I, it was just a habit I kept slipping into. Like oh, you know, I get close to the rock bottom, and it's like all right, now it's time to bring us <laughs> home back up here. And um, so now when I think about just thriving, it's the ability to the ability to know that one, you have everything that you need, and then two, to like legit walk through life feeling like what you want Mm -hmm. like now I think like a lot of phrases growing up like used to just sound like phrases to me like feeling like a million bucks just was a phrase now like I like to feel like a million bucks (laughs) so I think um that's what thriving means to me you know is to become what you want instead of like waiting until you get all the way down here and then it's like all right well I need this let me figure out how I'm gonna get this Mm -hmm. like I don't have I no longer want to have to struggle to get what I want. Mm-hmm. I would say uh, I like I like that um, getting out of getting out of that mindset of survival mode, mm-hmm. you know. And I think with when somebody thinks like that, and I know when I was thinking like that survival mode, I was coming more from a, like a three D, you know, mindset. I'm thinking uh, as far as like logical and not having the understanding of knowing that I already I got it already you know what I'm saying I just need to be <laughs> I just need to be so um I wouldn't say challenging but uh I I just wasn't aware of like what well, dang why am I constantly thinking in terms of me trying to survive and the, the the logic wise and just instead of thinking like okay i mean i got it <laughs> let's just make it happen you know yeah i i think like uh piggyback off what Sarah was saying i think like when you get in a situation and it feel like like we all been in situations or had problems or and it just it got better eventually mm-hmm. and that but the thing is we can be in that space all like basically what I'm saying is we all had been in situations where it feels like you know we needed to get better now uh, mm-hmm. you know like we so focused on it getting better and then it eventually it gets better but that energy that you had like we can do that every day mm-hmm. Like we can just decide to be better every day, you know. We we can just because if you just surviving, are you really living? Mm. Like yeah. you just survive. Like it's no fun in <laughs> just run around <laughs> just surviving. <laughs> like I'm just here. So yeah, I think uh, I think to thrive is. Um, I think the thrive is to 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 put your focus on things you want and 
and know that you can have that at all times. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't have to be like survival mode to get what you want. Mm-hmm. So I remember um, somebody kind of helped me to make a a distinction because they were doing like a like a reading or something on me, and um, so what they were saying was. They were saying that the ancestors, mm-hmm. <laughs> the ancestors are very pleased. They were like, the ancestors are very pleased with you because, um, like, a lot of times when people go through difficult situations and they come out on the other side of it, mm-hmm. it's like they're victorious, right? Like, you know, we were like, um, like, I survived. I'm an mm-hmm. overcomer. I overcame this or whatever. And kind of it's almost like we think that's the goal Mm -hmm. to overcome Mm -hmm. challenging times but what this person was saying was that i didn't just overcome challenging times and then that becomes your identity like i Mm -hmm. overcame this Mm -hmm. stuff they say it's no longer in your vibration like you have erased it and they say they say you erased it for your entire line and so they're like that's why your ancestors are so pleased because basically you free them as well and you erasing it out of your vibration and so i remember there was a point in time when i was thinking <clears throat> i'm so far removed from the stuff the junk from mm. you know what i considered back then anyway as being junk from the past um that i might forget it and so i felt the need to record it so that I wouldn't forget it but I think the 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 reason why I thought I would forget it is because like I said I was so far removed it's no longer I don't hold that energy anymore I do have a cup a few of the same behavior patterns um but in terms the behavior patterns are like um you know it's a pattern it's kind of like ingrained and there's nothing that I really feel like I need to you know yeah. release um, but at the same time, I do recognize that it was developed during that period of time. Um, however, like just the ideal of moving beyond just um, I survived, I overcame, um, even in a good space, but still remembering all of that stuff as a, a bad thing. But I guess transforming it, transforming it into something that's just really beautiful. Yeah, and I think um, something you just said is very interesting, too. I think um, we do oftentimes, like, we, it's weird. It's like we have, like, a, we'll have a, we'll call it an obstacle, like, in our life or whatever. And then once we get past it, for some reason, we start defining ourselves by that obstacle. It's like a, Mm -hmm. like, the rags of riches story, like, attracts so many people because it's like, oh, I used to be broke, now I'm rich. Mm -hmm. It's like, but the goal wasn't, like... It's like now you're just celebrating the fact that you made it past that point and like not really celebrating who you are or like not really getting to where you want to be. You kind of just, you're still holding on to what was there. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, I never forget like, okay, I never forget, I got in a car accident or whatever and it was, um, got in a car accident and it was a, but everybody else account was a bad car accident or me, not a scratch on me. Um, so after that it was like, yeah, you know, I got through a tough car accident or whatever and then it was like, Oh, my house caught on fire. It's like, oh, you know, I survived like a house fire. And I was like, but I don't identify by that. Like, that was just one part of my life. Why do I want to keep holding on to that? Like, I'm not a, I'm not a, I think it's interesting. I think we've seen the world move from victim to survivor. And now I don't want to be a the survivor. Mm-hmm. It's, I want to just thrive in life. Mm-hmm. I don't need to say I survived this and now I'm here. I want to just say I'm here and all of this was happened, but. It happened for me, mm-hmm. like we always say. Right. Yeah. Yes. And that's just such a beautiful transition when you realize yeah. that it happened for you and when when that's your perspective. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, this happened for me. It wasn't it wasn't a bad thing. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. this was something really beautiful. Um, different experiences I was able to have and and you know, learn from and da 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 da. But that it's helped to turn me into this, <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I remember um, when I was younger, and I had a job um, working for this uh, retail company, and I was defined as the 
hardest working guy <laughs> there because I would walk like miles and miles a day just to get there and come back. Um, and the time I got home catching the bus, it was probably like 12 o'clock or so, right? And so I remember constantly, every day when I was taking those walks and getting up extra early to catch the bus just to get to the other side of town, I'm, I was thinking, not in survival, well, somewhat I would say, in survival mode, but my thought process was like, yeah, you know, this is me right here. Every, you know, mm -hmm. I'm the hardest working guy. You know, I, I sit back and I do what everybody else wouldn't do, right? Mm -hmm. And now, right, I look back at it. And the one thing I can say that I took from that was that I thrived at something that I thought that I couldn't do and didn't realize like it was something that was for me you know it taught me so many so many lessons that um i appreciate it now you know mm -hmm. in, in my life now that i look back on it and i'm like at that time i couldn't really you know understand it because my thought process was just basically like I'm, I'm just gonna make it you know mm -hmm. every day i'm gonna make it make it happen and i made it happen but now it's just more of it it just taught me a lot in general. Mm -hmm. Taught me a lot. I know for me, like when I was in the survival mind state and um you know, like glorifying it, like, you know, right. I'm I'm doing them surviving. It don't it, it ain't feel good. Like it put me in a state like everybody against me and <laughs> I gotta get it on my own and you know, all of that and that's no fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had mixtures of those feelings too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I had mixtures of those feelings. But really, it's like, it's not that. It's just that I was putting my attention on surviving, and so it felt like that put me in a feeling like no one was there for me or no one. When mm -hmm. the same people was there, that's that's now, that's here now. <laughs> Been the same people, you know. Right. So it's like. It kind of it kind of makes up things in your mind when you're in that survival mode. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said, like thinking people against you, thinking people don't want to see you do good, and all mm -hmm. these little things we say, you know, when we're in that mind state. Mm -hmm. It's like we're separate from, and and to me, that's what third dimensional reality is. Um, this very physical world that we live in, when we're entrenched in third dimensional reality, we feel like we're separate from God. And we forget who we are. Yeah, we forget. Yeah. We forget who we are. And, um, you know, like when you start moving into fourth dimension, you start having a realization like, wait a minute. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm connected to all that. I must have some type mm -hmm. of access or ability to do something. You know, <laughs> if this force runs through me and it runs right. through everybody, it's got to be a way, you know. But in third dimension, you just feel like you just feel separate. You, f um, you know, you feel like you're alone in the world sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, just you and your crew, right. <laughs> you know, and don't realize that the whole universe is conspiring for you versus it's something you got to fight against. Um, also, I'm just thinking back, like when I was in that survival mode too, it also, it made me judge everybody else around me. It was like a, it sounds wild, but like it was, it was, it was a feeling of, well, if I'm doing this, why you ain't doing it? Like, <laughs> like if my house burned down and I'm still a good, good student, why you not a good student? <laughs> like, I, it was those type of judgments mm -hmm. like all the time. And I was like, I don't even like doing that. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I need to release that. Because I don't want to Now I'm holding it as like a badge of honor Over everybody else like oh Well you know you can't be as good as me Because I did it while doing this Right. And it's like <laughs> no it, One you don't know anybody else's life So they could also have the same obstacle And you never know Or right. a different obstacle and you never know And then two I don't like Why do I have to be better than somebody <laughs> Like why did I need that I need it. It's like I need an extra peg up mm -hmm. to like bring myself back from like, oh, I was down here. So now I'm going to put myself up here. Mm -hmm. So I feel better about the fact that I was down here. Right. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of um, something 50 Cent said. 
And he's like, I need you to hate me so I can use you for your energy. But you don't need nobody right. to hate you <laughs> and pick your energy up. Right. <laughs> trying to think of what does that even mean? I need you to hate me so it's I can like, use you yeah. for your energy. It's like, hey, like we've been talking about like, like being in that survival mode where mm -hmm. you feel like you got that chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. like you got to prove people wrong, prove I can do it, prove, you know. That's your like motivation. One of those things. Yeah. And so he feels like, I mean, so I guess his thing is like, if I'm proving something to you, I'm going to work harder. Mm -hmm. It's like, I need you to say I can't do it, or I, you know, mm -hmm. so that make me go harder to do it. <laughs> So I said like thriving, um, I look at thriving for me, it's, uh, it's just basically like just now being. Um, I don't want to think about what I can't do, you know. Uh, something similar to what you were just saying about 50 Cent, I had that thought process mm -hmm. too. Um, but just moving forward in my everyday life and constantly thinking about everything that I want and knowing that I already got it in a sense and just really being and not every day I'm in that space of like I always think about being sometimes I got to remind myself about it you know but um I know when I do I'm, I'm thriving you know and my day is going really smooth I'm, I'm waking up every day I wake up and I don't struggle to get out of bed. At one time, I used to struggle to. Get <laughs> <laughs> I used to struggle to get out of bed, but I wake up and I just I get up, I go, I'm smiling. Why I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but that's that's like that's really really how my day starts. And then I get in my truck, get my Wawa coffee. I'm at I'm I'm at work and I'm just I'm like all right. I'm not thinking about like. Okay, what's gonna happen today? Or mm -hmm. what I'm gonna run into today? You know, mm -hmm. just whatever happens, it happens. See, you know? you, so. th you thriving when you're not thinking about surviving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll cover right there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think for me, um, one practice that I used to switch that, um, to make that shift from surviving to thriving was, um. I started thinking about, all right, well, if I can get it, if I can get myself there, like when I'm way down here, what am I doing when I'm down here? Mm -hmm. And so I realized, like, what I was doing, I was like, all right, well, what am I feeling when I'm down here? And it's like, all right, I know yeah. I can't, I can't go but so far because I have a baseline for myself. Well, I'm not going to go but so far, but at the same time, I need to give myself that feeling that I feel like a joy, like all day, so that way I can continually build it up. And it's um. You actually said it like in a previous episode, you know, when we think was talking about changing like your lifestyle and your thinking, you know, you start like at an hour and then you just extend it to like lunch and then the next thing you know, a day and then like mm -hmm. that's kind of how I did for that. It was like, all right, what am I doing when I'm down here? That's like, all right, mm -hmm. you can't be down here anymore. It was like, okay, I do, I do little things like this. Let's do that like once a day. Now let's start it once a week. Mm -hmm. And then it just became like the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, for me, it was adopting things that I felt made me feel good, but doing it every day and then releasing that action and just having just the feeling. Mm -hmm. I think that was when I really felt like I was thriving. I like that. Repeat that. Right. Yeah. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, um, you know, I used to do things. It was I stopped doing the action and I just kept the feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I used to like, I used to like taking walks in nature because it made me feel good and I liked the feeling that it gave me. And I was like, well, what if it's like cold and snowy one day or whatever? Then what do I do? Am I just going to have to be sad that day? Right. <laughs> so it's like, no, nah, like I need to find a way to still make that feeling <laughs> and like feel that feeling without having to do that action. Yeah, that is so key. I, I'm so happy you said that because that, that was one of my big realizations because uh, when I used to live in Barbados, it was like, you know, sunny all the time. Mm -hmm. I got to see rainbows all the time. I would sit on these cliffs and overlook the ocean. It's so blue and everything was just beautiful and just so peaceful. We didn't have a phone, so nobody was calling me, mm -hmm. you know, like yes. <laughs> everything was just like so zen. And I mean, I was just so thrilled, but we had to come home to back to the States 
at least once every three months. That's how long your passport would be stamped for. So you had to leave. Um, and so whenever I would come back to Richmond, I would be like, it's just mm. so dreary <laughs> here. And I would get depressed. And I'm like, I got to be there in right. order to be in this space of joy. And so um, actually realizing that I need to be able to bring this wherever I am. Like, it's not the place, it's the space, you know, mm -hmm. it's the space. And creating that space wherever I am. But I do, uh, like what you were saying, Teron, that's something that I, I actually remind myself sometimes. It's, it's, a, it's a habit that I have. Like, if I feel myself either in a bad space or I'm feeling negative or, you know, I'm, I'm just not in the spaces the way I want to be. I go back and I think about, okay, the time as to where I feel mm -hmm. that, that that made me feel good or something that made me feel good. And so that sort of puts me back into like, okay, well, if I can't do it now, I'm going to find something mm -hmm. close to it that give me the feeling of, mm -hmm. of that feeling, you know, and it always gets me back on track though. Yeah. And that's, to this day, I always, this is a place I would always stand mm -hmm. and um, see the rainbow, and so it was a, a a lighthouse, and then the rainbow would always appear right over the lighthouse first thing in the morning, and so whenever I would see the rainbow, I would always say it was just for me, and I'd be like, oh, thank you for showing up for me today, <laughs> and I would get so happy and excited, and I would just feel love, and so that's what I that's what I do now is I'll remember, I'll look at that, and then I'll feel that feeling, and then I'll be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You probably think this is weird, but like being around water, right, that's my relaxation. Now, if, if I can't get close to the water at some point, you know, during the week, I drink more water. <laughs> that's, and I drink a gallon of water mm -hmm. a day. And the times that I don't drink water, right? I mean, let's say I go two days and I don't drink water. <laughs> Guarantee you out of those two days, I'm going to the river. I'm somewhere mm -hmm. where there's actual water. And then when I'm not around water, I can't get to it. I'm guzzling down. <laughs> <laughs> I like that though. I'm guzzling down. Yeah. Water. Hey, hey, people thrive. <laughs> <laughs> Just thrive. <laughs> and what was what did you say earlier? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh, um, was this, this is something like you can't thrive if you're thinking about surviving or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, and I think for me, you know, it's just um, you know, you start with the action and then work yourself towards getting rid of the action and then. You're moving into that place of just thriving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys for your input, feedback, and all <laughs> that good stuff. And thank you all for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, this is our vet. And this is Steven. Run. And Teron. Bye. <laughs>